Hey, how are you today? Today we're going to talk about bare white. Bare white paint. So great. You know, um, a lot of people are having problems getting uh, paint supplies in to make the paint. So my brother-in-law, he was getting a, a sort of a muted turquoise mixed up from Sherwin-Williams and they sent him over to Bear to have it mixed. So I guess people are running out of things. I know I'm having problems getting my uh, samples to paint with. So uh, we're gonna talk about a few white paints that I think are fabulous from Bear. Okay, the first one that we're gonna talk about is, let me see if I have my microphone on, yeah, is the, um, let me see. The ultra pure white, and that is the whitest white. So that's a great one for trim that would pair with all of these paints for the bare paints. Um, another, okay, these are the warmer ones over here. And um, yeah, let's pick this up. I just put them on this board. So this is the smooth silk which is a little bit warmer but still very white and this is the polished marble and then right in the middle which is really pretty it looks it looks pretty pure as well but if you pair it right up to the ultra white can you see that in the video let me see okay if you pair it right there if you can see it in this video if you pair it with the right here with the um polished marble which is a really nice white and kind of warm with the ultra white that's kind of nice this would be your trim and this would be your wall maybe satin for this and flat for this or whatever they have available okay here's another one let's do this this is easier for you guys Okay, this is the Smooth Silk, and I think that's kind of a little bit of a beigey warm color. Look how different those are. And that's Smooth Silk. I think those two would be very cottagey. They do have a cottage color. Um, I don't like it. It's called, cot oh no, it's not cottage. It's called Cotton Knit. It's on the wall here. I don't like it. It's too yellow. Too yellow for me, baby. Okay, but it's just a personal thing. You know, we all are so different. So these are my choices for the warmer whites would be the smooth silk and the polished marble. Okay, now this, of course, is everybody's favorite color, Swiss coffee. We all love Swiss coffee. Now let's pair that up with the ultra pure white and see what we have. Hmm. Very similar, let's see. Yeah, very similar, but still different. You can see it, right? So what a nice mid-tone balanced color with the pure white, ultra pure white. How beautiful is that for a white room that's not too stark? That's what gets me. Sometimes they get a little too stark if you do it all. You know, if you do the trim and ultra pure white, and then you do the flat wall, do the trim and ultra ultra pure white gloss, semi-gloss, and then you do the whole room in ultra pure white, it, sometimes it could be a little bit too bright. So I like a little change. So this is, let's put him right in the middle. Swiss coffee, my fave. Okay, now these are some more, these are some more shades. Sorry about this, guys. Okay, these are a little bit more contemporary and a little bit more grayish or gray. Okay, so this is called Angel Feather. Actually, it's a little green blue. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a white. But can you say, see how it's a little bit like a lot cooler and has sort of has a little grayish, greenish, greenish blue undertones, but very nice. Let's bypass Swiss coffee here. And we are gonna go to White Modern. Woo, this is good contemporary color, but you know, it would be fine if you had antiques too. It's almost, it has a lot of blue in it too. So that's nice, just a nice modern shade. Kind of a gr kind of grayish, a little bit. Could go with almost anything. I really, I really like this shade right here. This is really nice. 
Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Sherwin-Williams Snowbound, slightly. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, our last one is Ice Sculpture. I thought that would be another uh, contemporary one. Of course, you could do transitional or whatever you decide to do is fine. But as you can see, look how nicely these pair. This is just a nice cool white with a nice pure white. Love all these shades. So let's go over them again so we don't forget what they are. Okay. Or we don't have to really. You can just rewind it. Okay. Now I did pick up this the Bear Whites collection. They did not tell what white they used in the kitchen. It does say living room, so maybe that's what they mean. Uh, let's see, they said bathroom, bedroom, bathroom, living room. Okay, okay, this is good. So they said living room. I don't even see a living room in here. Okay. I must have messed up or something. Okay, so the uh, bedroom is cotton knit, which I do not like. It's too yellow. Okay, and then they have the bathroom. Well, that one's a little yellow too. It's painter's white. Oh, okay, this is the living room right here. Okay, the bathroom. Okay, this is good. The bathroom, not this picture. But the bathroom is painter's white. I like that for an all white. That's nice. Don't look at this. This one right here is nice in their brochure. Painter's white. Now the living room is in cottage white. P don't particularly love that. It's a little bit too warm. But if you have a, a vintage house or an older house, it might just be perfect. And then they have it paired with the fireplace in sleek white. So these are kind of fun to pick up. Right here is the sleek white, and then this is the more yellowish wall of the cottage white, which seems like it would be perfect, but I think the more perfect shade is painter's white in these. And then they have all of these beautiful shades as well. So and some are cool and some are not. And all you have to do is take a piece of typing paper to your nearest paint store and just compare. And you'll know what, which ones are warm, which ones are more green, which ones are cool, and which ones are balanced, a little bit more grayish and balanced. And balanced, I can't talk today. So anyway, um, I'm playing my jazz video in the background which is copyright free, jazz music. So uh, that's about all I have to say. And after this, um, the second part of this video is gonna be a clean with me, whole house clean with me. So, so stay tuned for that and don't stop watching. Okay, this is the second part of the video. Now we're gonna clean a little. We're gonna start with the kitchen. I'm gonna set a timer for about 30 minutes and we'll see how far we get. Here we go. Okay, we're getting ready to clean the dining room now. 15 minutes. I've got my spaces on, which last about, some of the uh, stations last 24 hours. There are a salon, spa, cafe uh, app. Um, so I'm gonna link that below if I can figure it out. And here we go in the dining room. That's what we're focused on now.
the cleaning and I'll get back with you guys later. I'm gonna take a little rest, look at my phone, and then I'll finish up uh, laundry and my office and bedroom a little later. Have a good one. Please subscribe if you like this video. Thank you.